In this month's support contract critique, we're going to look at, set, at a set of related support contract documents, a brochure sheet, and a rate card that go hand in hand as marketing documents that should be used to support your marketing collateral efforts in selling or getting your prospects and customers, mostly customers interested in taking your firm's annual service agreement program. The reason why these kind of documents are so important is you really don't want to throw someone into the deep end right away with your eight page or six page or ten page annual service agreement document until you've established some kind of consensus that they're interested and they're qualified and that it's a good fit and in terms of your sales process and everything you really shouldn't even be talking about this stuff until they've been through a proving ground project you can't sell someone on a twelve thousand dollar a year commitment until they've spent a few hundred dollars with you and been a satisfied customer with the whole process and that you've been satisfied that you want to work with them for the duration so if you're a little fuzzy on how that whole sales process works and how the sequencing works you definitely need to go back and review the materials that are in the computer consulting kit home study course and pay very close attention to the whole idea of sequencing and what needs to come first before it's an appropriate time to talk about uh, selling a service agreement or support contract to one of your customers. As always, with these critiques, the company name and logo and location and anything else that's personally identifiable for the, the documents that we're critiquing have been removed to protect the innocent. So what are we going to be covering in this critique? We'll be talking about the support contract brochure sheet, the support contract rate card, talk about some headline issues, some issues having to do with naming and branding. We'll look at emotional hot buttons that need to be addressed in to make this marketing literature for the support contracts more effective. We'll look at how to make sure that we're focusing on their problems, not what we want their problems to be, but actually their problems. We'll talk about a concept called social proof that helps to build a lot of credibility and gets people off the fence. We'll talk about how to craft a stronger effort at closing the sale. I want to point out with all of this, being that we're talking about support contracts, none of this is a substitute for legal advice. It's strictly advice on the business development side of marketing and selling your service agreements. We'll also be talking about the difference between benefits and features and how it relates to marketing your support contracts or service agreements. We're going to use those terms interchangeably. They're pretty much synonymous. They mean one and the same. So three or four different terms that all pretty much mean the same thing. Support contracts, service contracts, support agreements, service agreements all pretty much one and the same in this context. So there's benefits versus features. We'll talk about the distribution of this literature, when it's appropriate to give it out and when it's not. We'll talk about the difference in, in rate savings, the delta between uh, rate savings. We'll talk about the size of the quantity commitment in terms of number of hours that are being purchased on a regular basis. We'll talk about how to resolve some confusion with discounting talk about uh, phone support and particularly how to stay out of phone support quicksand so you don't fall into the quicksand with phone support. We'll talk about the VIP package creating some additional exclusivity so there's higher perceived value and we'll close it up with how not to give it away. Don't give it all away. So this is the support contract brochure sheet. You can see that the company logo URL and, and identity has been protected. The phone number has been blocked out. Over here the fax number and URL are all blocked out. There's no getting around it. Your business relies on the computers working properly. Our skilled technicians will act as the IT department for your business. Whether your network is down, your computer won't boot, or you just need some advice, choose either our reactive or proactive service. And again, this is the brochure sheet that's being used ahead of time to show a customer the benefits of being on a support agreement or support contract with your firm. This kind of literature really should not be used with your um, your prospects. Until someone's been through a proving ground project with your company, it's really premature to talk about a support contract. Um, so the brochure sheet goes on to talk about reactive service. Things happen and you need someone to react when they do. Although you don't want any long-term contracts or to get stuck with a monthly fee, you want someone you can count on to be there when you need the most. That's why we offer our reactive service. We come to when you need us and you pay for each time you need us, nothing more. No monthly fees or long-term commitments, just hourly rates that are easy to live with. To get started, call anytime to schedule an appointment. Of course, what we've just read here, this reactive service, is the antithesis, is the, antithesis the opposite of uh, support contracts and service agreements. No recurring revenue at all on your part and you may even want to think twice whether you want to offer that as a... Uh, Do you want more of the best
steady, high-paying computer business clients? Then sign up for free, proven computer business tips now at computerbusinesstips.com. Again, that's computerbusinesstips.com.